In this video, I want to go over how to write the equation of a parabola from uh, a given parabola. So you've got a given parabola. So here you've got your x-axis and this is your y-axis. And you can see two points. One is, this is the vertex or the turning point, 2 comma negative 6. And this point is your y-intercept. So if you want to write the coordinate, it is 0 comma negative 2. Now, any quadratic equation uh, has got this general formula. I'll first write the general formula. y is equal to, you may have seen this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. This is one form of writing a quadratic equation or the equation of a parabola. Now, when you have a vertex, the same thing is can be written like this. y is equal to a times x plus or minus b the whole squared plus or minus c. I'll explain what a, b, and c means here. Now, this, this plus or minus, if it is plus, the, the basic parabola has moved to the left. If it is plus, it has, we will check this by this, uh, by this parabola. If it is plus, it means the basic parabola has moved to the left. And if it is minus, it has moved to the right. If it is plus, means the basic parabola has gone up. And for minus, it has gone down. So let me show like this. So if it is plus, if it is plus, means this has gone up. The basic parabola has gone up. And this means this has gone down. Now, this A is called a stretch factor. This is also called a stretch factor. Now, stretch factor. It's a number. It can be positive or negative, but I'm only writing A. A uh, stretches the factor or flattens it. It makes the parabola fatter or leaner. Okay, and it also flips the parabola upside down. I'll come to that later on. So looking at this parabola, by only looking at the vertex, I can say this vertex, when I'm talking about vertex, so I'm, let me draw the basic parabola. The basic parabola is y is equal to x squared. So this is your basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. So this basic parabola, y is equal to x squared, has what has happened to this? It has gone to the right. So say, let's say it has gone to the right. So let's write. What are the transformation? It has gone to the right and it has gone, it has gone to the right and it has gone down. It has gone down. And we don't know what is A, whether it is pulled, whether it has become fat or lean. We don't know. So we will, if it has not been pulled or pushed, if it has not become fatter or leaner, A would become 1. But we'll have to confirm that. Now, what did we say? If the basic parabola has gone to the right, it should be a minus. So I'll write the equation like this. Y is equal to A, which is a stretch factor. We need to find that. It has gone 2 to the right. So going to the right means we have to put a minus. So it is x minus 2 the whole squared. And this has gone 6 down, so you have to put minus 6. That's it. Now we need to confirm what is A. Whether A is A is positive, because this is opening up, so it is it has to be positive. But we, we don't know whether it is 1 or more than 1 or less than 1. For that, what we're going to do is we're going to put this point in this equation. So we know that when x is 0, when x is 0, y is equal to 2. When x is 0, y is equal to negative 2, sorry. So we need to find out a. So let us put this back in this equation. So in place of y, I can put negative 2. And in place of x, I can put 0. So negative 2 is equal to a times 0 minus 2 the whole squared minus 6. So 
we will go very slowly here. So this is minus 2 is equal to a times. Okay, so yeah, this is minus 2 times. So this is 0, take away 2 is negative 2 squared. You have to be very careful here, so I'm going very slowly, minus 6. So this is minus 2, so let me scroll down. So this is minus 2 is equal to a times negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4 minus 6. So the more steps you do, the less mistakes you can make. So this is 4a minus 6. Now this has become a simple linear equation. So what I'm going to do, I want to cancel, get rid of this negative 6. So to add 6 to this side, so add 6 to this side. Okay, so what will happen, this and this will get cancelled. So you've got 4a on this side is equal to negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So 4a is equal to 4. So now you're asking the question 4a is equal to 4. So a is 1. A is 1. So in fact, even if you don't write 1, it doesn't matter. So the equation of this parabola is y is equal to uh, 1. We don't write 1 here. It's x has moved to the right minus 2 the whole squared minus 6. So let's confirm this. Okay. Now one more thing, just to, uh, because it's a symmetrical, because a parabola is symmetrical over the uh, vertex. So what does it mean? Now, if you draw a line through the vertex, through the vertex, this, this is a line through the vertex. So this point is 2. Okay. So this line is symmetrical for this parabola. That means this, this this point this point is at a distance of two from the line of symmetry. So this line you can also call is x is equal to two. So this line is called the line of symmetry. This is the line of symmetry. Now from line of symmetry you can talk about many things. Line of symmetry, or you can also understand this as a mirror line. Okay. So this, this and this are reflection of each other. So logically, if this point is 0, comma, negative 2, which is at a distance of 2 from the line of symmetry, there is a point which is at the same distance 2. So this point, logically, has to be what? If you go 2 away from 2, you'll reach to reach at 4. So this point should be 4, comma, negative 2. So we'll check these two points by typing this equation on a graphic calculator. Okay, so you go to your graph menu and type in the equation, which is bracket x minus 2, the whole squared, minus 6, and draw it. So this is a, now if you want to make the scale bit bigger, shift F3 and change it to standard scale, 10 by 10. 10 minus 10 to 10 on both the axis and then draw it. So this is your parabola. So to check this point, which is a called minimum on a graphic calc, this point is turning point, vertex or minimum. So if you press F3, so you've got the minimum 2 comma negative 6. Now to check, this point is also called the y-intercept or you can also go like this, y-calc when x is equal to 0. When x is 0, y is negative 2. And again, you go to y calc. When x is 4, when x is 4, y is negative 2. Okay. Let us move on to the next uh, graph. So here, you have got two points here. You've got this vertex, which is the turning point, And you've got this point, which is 2, comma, 8. So this basic parabola has gone y. I'll start with A. A will be negative, I know, but I'll keep A as A. It has gone 3 to the right. It has gone 3 to the right and 10 up. So as it has gone to the right, I'll write x minus 3 squared. And it has gone 10 up, so I'll write plus 10. I now need to figure out what is A. For that, I'll have to put one point, which, is, which should not be the vertex. 
you cannot put this in this equation because if you put 3 10 if you put 3 in place of x this whole thing will become 0 okay so it doesn't make any sense so ultimately you'll have 10 equal to 10 okay now you have to put any other point other than the vertex so this is your vertex so we know that when x is 2 y is 8 because 2 comma 8 is a point on the parabola so let's put this back in this equation so y is 8 so 8 is equal to a times 2 minus 3 the whole squared plus 10 now this is where most of you can do mistake if you don't if you go for shortcut so this is 8 is equal to a times negative 1 squared plus 10 so 8 is equal to negative 1 squared is nothing but 1 plus 10 so 8 is equal to a, a plus 10. So now taking away 10 from both sides, oops, if you take away 10 from this side, you have to take away 10 from this side. So this is 8 take away 10 is negative 2. And this and this gets cancelled. A is equal to negative 2. So let me write the equation here. So our equation now becomes y is equal to negative 2 in negative 2 minus 2 does make sense because it's an upside down parabola so again this is we need to confirm whether this equation is right let's also draw the line of symmetry the line of symmetry always passes through the vertex okay so this is the line of symmetry so let's understand this point this point is how far away from vertex or the line of symmetry. So this is 1 away from, this is 310 and this is 210, 28. So you're looking only at the x values. So this is 1 away from the line of symmetry. So that you do have a point here, which is again 1 away. So if you go 1 away from 3, you will reach 4, 8. So we need to confirm these two points. So get your calculators out and type in the equation minus 2 bracket x minus 3 squared plus 10. Okay. So this is your parabola. So G solve. Let's confirm the, this is called the maximum. So type in, press F2. So 3 comma 10. Now we need to check when x is 2, y should be 8. When x is 2, y is 8. And again, g solve. When x is 4, y should be 8. 